Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli and in this video you will learn how you can use Elementor form submissions to create contact in Pipedrive CRM application automatically. So guys, many companies and businesses use CRM applications like Pipedrive to create, uh, to build a pipeline or to build better relationship with their customers. Uh, but guys, the issue is they have to manually sort out and collect the details of their leads and customers and add them one by one into CRM applications like Pipedrive. So this manual process is very problematic and time consuming, consuming as well. So the better and the efficient way to solve this issue is automation. Let me show you how. So to use automation to solve this issue, you just have to create a form with the help of let's say Elementor form plugin and you have to share this form with your audience or embed it in your website. And as and when you'll receive a form submission uh, from your lead or customer, the same person who have filled this form is going to be created as a contact in Pipedrive CRM automatically. So you, you need not to manually sort out the details. It will happen automatically and to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any kind of coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. And for this, you can check the link in the description that we have pasted for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and uh, it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every month, okay? So here, after signing up, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as create contacts from Elementor form submissions into pipe drive. Okay. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay. And on this page guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these things. So the trigger his uh, trigger here is the happening of any event. So it is saying when this happens and the action is the response to the trigger. So it is saying do this. All right, as in our use case, the trigger would be a new submission from Elementor form and the action to that trigger would be to add the contact uh, who have filled this form into pipe drive application. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up your trigger. So click here and from this choose app field, choose your trigger application first. So our trigger application is Elementor form plugin. So select it. Okay. And in the trigger event, you have to select this new form submission. So it will trigger this workflow when a new form is submitted. Okay, select it. Then it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pabli Connect. So here you can read the instructions uh, to make the connection with Elementor plugin. Okay, let me show you how you can do this. So first of all, you have to open your form from WordPress and here is the form that I have created. So it's a kind of subscription form for our emails. Okay. So here, uh, you have to click here on this edit with Elementor option and the editor of Elementor plugin will open up. Okay. And from this page, when, when you click on any of the field on the form, you will see on the left hand side panel, this contact content tab. And under this content tab, when you scroll down, you will find this actions after submit button, click on actions after submit. And here from this add action uh, window, you have to search for webhook app action. Okay. This one is webhooks add this here. Okay. And as you add this here, you will find this webhooks tab below here. Click on webhook and here you will find this webhook URL field. So here you have to uh, paste the webhook URL. So just copy the webhook URL from your workflow and paste this webhook URL here in this field like this. Okay. Then click on update button here and update your form page. Okay. So you can see the form is updated right now. And here you can see in your workflow as you have copied this webhook URL started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to do a test submission or you have to uh, fill the form 
on behalf of any customer or lead. So it will be a demo form submission and we are going to capture the data of that form submission here. And with the help of that demo data, we are going to move forward here in this automation. Okay. So I'm going to open my form. <clears throat> I'm clicking on view page here. Okay. And here I'm going to fill this form. So here I'm going to fill this form uh, on the name as Michael Karas. Okay. This is the email of Michael. And this is the phone number I'm clicking on send here. And you can see the form was sent successfully. Now let's check in Pabli Connect if we got the data. So we got the details here from the form submission like this. You can see the first name, the last name of the uh, person and the email address and the phone number. Okay. So this is how you, you can get the data from Elementor form to here in uh, Pabli Connect. And after this, you want to add the same person in Pipedrive application as a contact. So for that, you have to connect your Pipedrive application in this action step. So from here, now you have to choose your application as Pipedrive. Okay. This is Pipedrive. And in the action event, you have to select uh, create person option. Select create person. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it will ask for this API token. So you'll find this API token by logging in into your pad drive account. And after logging in, you have to go to settings and in the personal preferences settings, you will find this API key or the token. So let me show you. This is my pad drive applications dashboard. And here I'm going to click on this profile icon. And here you will find this personal preferences option. Click on personal preferences. And under this personal preferences uh, uh, page, you will find this API tab. And here is the personal API token. So yes, you can generate a new token by clicking here on generate new token button or you can uh, after generating the token, you just have to copy this token from here and paste it here in this API token field in, a, in the workflow. Okay, now you can click on save and you will be connected with pipe drive like this. Okay. Now it is asking, you can see for the name and the owner and the organization on all these fields to fill up to create a person or a contact in pipe drive. So we are going to use this demo data that we have captured from Elementor step and we are going to map this data in the second step to create a contact. Okay. So to map this data, you just have to click here on this name field and you will find this Elementor step in the drop down. And from here, you will find the first name. Okay, let me fill the, uh, let me map the full name. Okay. And in the owner, you can have the, you can type the name of the owner. Okay. Or you can choose if it is showing the list of the owner. So it is not showing anything. You can fill it if you have this data. You, so you can uh, map the name of the organization as well. Okay. You can map the email. Let me map the email here. This is the email address. And you can map the phone number. This is the phone number. Okay. And label option ID. Enter the person label option ID. You can get the label option ID with the help of get person fields details. So if you want to uh, fill the label option, you can fill, uh, you can use this get person details in the action step. So that's a different thing. It is not compulsory. So I'm leaving this blank and visibility. You can select the visibility of this contact to vis to owner only or to entire company, or you can choose any option. So here I'm selecting owners visibility group. Okay. Now you can check the connection with pipe drive if it is working properly or not by clicking here on save and send test request. Okay. So as I'm going to click on save and send test request, a new contact will be added up here in this person's list or the contacts list. Okay, let me show you. I am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens. And you can see it is showing this kind of response. Okay. And here, let me show you if this contact here and here you can see a new contact named as Michael Karas is added here like this. Okay, so this is how it is going to work in real time guys. Okay. So, uh, now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in the trigger section, I connected Elementor and with the help of this URL, I connected the form and fetched the demo data like this. 
After this, I connected pipe drive application in the action step and mapped the required data to create a person like this. And we have seen that our connection is working fine. So guys, you have to uh, set up this automation and map the data only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here. After that, it uh, as and when any person is going to fill the form, the same person is going to be created as a contact in pipe drive automatically. Let me show you a real time example how it is going to work. So I'm filling this form again with the name now as Sank Jen. This is the email and this is the phone number. Okay. And I'm filling this form again. I'm clicking on send and you can see the form was sent successfully. Now I'm going to directly show you in my pipe drive application. Is this, if this contact got added or not. So I'm opening my pipe drive and you can see Sang Jen is added here automatically. Okay. So this is how it is going to happen in real time guys. And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.